Hey guys, welcome to our new channel. We are called Retro Car Dogs. So what I'm going to do is introduce you to a whole range of vehicles and that's why we're called Retro. It's going to be new, classic, hot rods, beach buggies, you name it. Everything your heart desires. Remember, we are not mechanics. We just collect classic cars and not only do we have a lot of classic cars, friends have many of the car clubs guys. So we're going to just show you classics, mods, all those kind of things. And we hope you enjoy it. Don't follow any of our instructions if we give you mechanical advice because we are terrible. We just love trying to tinker and play. Hope you enjoy the channel guys. Remember, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, tell everybody about it. Let them come and watch us crazy guys in a hot sunny climate here in South Africa where we don't have rust. Enjoy guys. Follow me on this adventure. Okay guys, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to take my hat, turn around because I'm going to get my hat dirty. You can see I'm not dressed in nice clothes, but I'm going to get my 59 Zephyr 6, Ford Zephyr 6 Abbott going. So I'm going to ask Dean to give me a hand because I'm not a mechanic, I'm useless. Dean, will really? you? Come on, bud. So I'm going to get Dean. Dean's going to come and give us a hand and he's going to get this thing fired up. What do we need to do? Dean, follow us. Follow me, see what happens. This car hasn't started in ages. I've had this car for about 18 odd years. Always wanted to restore it, so now time to pull it out and see what she does. So let's get down here. Let's pop open the bonnet. Okay, as you can see, totally original. Everything's there. Carbs over there. Engine six cylinder, 2.5 liter. Great little car. Lovely, lovely car. Dean, what are we going to do? Let's throw in a battery, let's put in some love juice and get it running. Okay, so let's, let's go over there and get a battery. So we're going to go over there and get a battery <laughs> and we're going to throw a battery and we're going to throw some jungle juice in her and we're going to get her running. Okay. Must have a Okay, I've got the petrol can. All right, what else do you need, Dean? All right, cool. So can you remember, I'm not a mechanic. Okay, as you can see, the car is complete. We'll show you outside just now. We're going to start her up, fire her up, hope, and pray that she'll fire her up. And we're about to get her out there in the sun where you can see better and I can show you more about the car. I've got the love juice in my hand. There it is. <coughs> Battery in. Dean's on the go here. Yeah? Spanners. Spanners. Okay, I've got them. Where are they? The box, the, the combi. At the back of the box of the combi. Okay. I'm going to get spanners in the back of the combi. What do you need, Dean? The whole box. Sorry? The whole box. Whole box. Hold box, that's right. Now I'm coming down this side, Dean. Okay, so in this box there's also some magic potions. There's tools, there's tins of uh, Q20. There we are. Quick start. Okay, what do you need? 13. 13, eh? Okay, mishmash, that's a, that's a 12. Okay, so we're going to hope this is going to fire up. So the old girl hasn't started in a long time, so let's see if there's still life in the old girl. What's that, dude? The fuel. Bit of petrol. Okay, guys. Don't do any of the things we're doing at home because we're not qualified mechanics to give you advice. So do you need this box anymore? Can I put it down? Yeah. Okay, put the box down. <laughs> okay, so that so that runs straight to the pump, eh? Um, yeah. To the carburetor. No. Okay. The pump. Cool. Down there. Down there. Okay. What do you want to do? Go try and fire her up. Have we got water in the radiator? I need some. No, it's done. You need some water. No. So get some water. Okay. So let's take a pause quickly while we get some water and put some water in the radiator. What we've done is topped up the radiator, made sure there's water in there. That much I know. Don't follow the tips I've given you. We're going to put some quick start in the carburetor and we're going to go for a start over there. We're standing out of the way because we don't know if the gear is stuck in gear or not and if it bangs it let it bang into the wall. Uh, not into us and kill one of us. Dean, go for it. Let's see if we can get this bad girl started up. Switch ignition on. Switch ignition on. Okay, ignition on. Hey, hey, there's life in the old girl. <laughs> How cool is that? She fired. Okay, we 
back. As you can see, we've successfully moved the car out. I've got to say special thanks to Dean because all the brakes were locked up and he did wonderful things there. Jacked it up, took brake shoes out and that's so we could roll the car back. So I want to give you a guided tour. And first thing we do is just pop this bonnet and have a look under this bonnet. You know, you all saw it, uh, that it, it runs. So that's really cool. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit of patina, a bit of rust here and there in places like that. But luckily with this car, when I restore any kind of car, anything that I'm doing, I always make sure I get spare lenses, gasket sets. I always do all those things. And I'm not a pro, guys. It's just a useful tip. Before you strip a car to rebuild it, get all the things you think you might need to replace it. If you can get better lenses, chrome beadings that are missing, things like that. Get them first before you strip the car. So under this bonnet, which I love, okay, and as you can see, it's all dirty. There's a lovely 2.56. So you can see the air cleaning here is missing, but it's not missing. It's actually just taken off because we wanted to start it. We try to get the brake and master cylinders to work, but we couldn't. So I can't take you for a little drive in it because unfortunately the brakes are not working and the clutch is not working. It's been standing for nearly 18 odd years or around there. So those just go there. We're putting a battery as you saw. So lovely clean engine. This one was previous owner must have chromed the tappet cover, which is quite cool. As you can see, it's dirty. So a good clean up here, maybe replace some hoses and things like that. Uh, do some work to the brakes and clutch and I'm sure this thing will run like a bomb down the road probably a new exhaust and Give it a good polish and uh, she'll look nice nice and patina. So let's move on to the interior so I can show you so um, As you see the, the hood ornament was missing. I got it like that just now I'm going to show you all the parts that I've got for this car so as you can see if you probably look here there uh, I think it was like the last time it was on the road like 1997 these are sort of discs that were there. Again, as you can see, if you come and have a look up on top of the roof, it's got the traditional carrier that was built back in the day with the little stripes and you put your luggage on there if it wasn't uh, enough space in the back of the car. It's a really cool feature, but if you come on around this side, I'm going to open the front door and just show you what it looks like in the side, in the front. So I'm going to open the front door now. Hey, excuse my back because I'm not a professional guy with a camera. So really cool little love seat going on here. You can see, okay, I'm going to pop inside here and sit and see. That's really cool. Nice big bed seat. So for the girls, I could get close to their boys sitting over here. Little cubby hole I haven't looked in here in years. <laughs> for little screws and things like that. But here's your little choke cable, your windscreen wiper motor, your gear lever here. So first being against the steering wheel, first down here into neutral, up is second, down is third. So I'm going to take the camera now guys, So you can, as you can see, so there's your handbrake down there, lovely little Ford emblem over there, this is your ashtray over here, I mean I haven't been in this car in donkey's years, little, oh, no, how nice is that, little speed, um, hooter badge there, a little parcel shelf going on here, you can see it's not in bad condition inside, little speedo cluster over there and your rear view over here, you can see the roof lining, I'm going to try and turn around, just to show you the sort of view from the inside of the car. Look how cool is that? That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Made station wagons proper in the old days. Roof lining is really immaculate. <coughs> Back seat over there, excuse my little cough. Door handles, so you can see there's nothing really missing there. Okay, a little tear, wear and tear over there. A nice little armrest over here on the front seat. Works fine. That's lovely. So I'm going to pop around uh, this side so you can see, slide across. I'm now behind the steering wheel. So here's your view from here. Absolutely killer. Really lovely. Really, really nice. So you can see from here, Hooter horn, switch your car on here, windscreen wipers. Here's your headlights over here, your bonnet uh, cable release over here. You pop this little lever, pops your bonnet. A nice little parcel shelf over here, handbrake over here, clutch and brake pedals here. Nice, comfortable riding position. You'll sit very comfortable in this car and ride. Uh, bit dirty as you can see guys, bit dirty you see from my hands, um, but all work fine, they all here, they complete, they see dirty from the years, just a good cleanup. And this car will be real pretty, just even as it is with a little cleanup. Uh, okay, a little bit of adjustment, there's a screw at the back here, tighten it up for your rear view mirror, not that you can see much out of these old girls, uh, but yeah, generally for just a dashboard there, a little bit, sponge probably gone a little bit underneath here, just needs a redo. Take it off, pop it out, redo, put new sponge in there, it'll look lovely. So yeah, great little car, gear lever here, a lovely little change. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to slide out now and go and sit in the back seat and show you how the back seats operate. 
um, they fold down into a lovely um, storage area so come on let me slide out and you can have a look and see what's going on there hey okay, guys popping in the back seat this is what's really cool about this thing because it's a station wagon uh, excuse my back so what I'm going to do is pop in here and if the camera can come around here you see this here it just pops forward oops and it can also just turn into a big giant bed in the back there which I'm not going to do right now um, we're going to just put it back here so again lovely I mean it's got lots of space in the back here you'll see the original beading still on the seats yeah slide in here nicely I'm not a big guy but uh, for the average six footer lots of space if this moves forward it's a nice comfortable little ashtray over there I see it's missing um, but very very nice um, just needs a good clean all the door handles door cards just all dirty but everything is here everything is here so it's all complete and looks very nice so what I'm going to do is pop around to the back, open the back. This is the feature of this vehicle. Um, I think, and I speak under correction, the fundies will be able to tell you from Ford. I think this particular year model, they only made about 700. And of what we know in South Africa, there's about three. And I don't know how many there are overseas in the UK and other places in the world. Um, but very, very nice. They come in a Zephyr 6 or a console or a Zodiac uh, formation. But let's pop over here. Come and look at this. This is really cool. Oh, chrome beating popped up. <laughs> old cars guys pop it back in so this is a real cool feature come check this out this is the back end of it and as you can see there's the Abbott badge over there Zephyr my mother my, my other car belongs to my ex-wife that's probably true lovely handle and look at this beast pop it open all the way look at that so in the back line here got some chrome we've got a gasket seat lining here let's have a look and see what's all in this car so it's original matte is still here uh, there's an interior light if you can catch that there there's an interior light you switch that on and lights up the back of the car that's quite cool um, and then just put your finger in this little custom hole here in this board that fits below which is in still great condition oh and there we go there's the spare oh uh, look at spare wheel spanner uh, there's a spare something else over here he has the original spare jack with the old wooden handle on it in there um, some other Odds and sods, I wouldn't know what they are for. I'm not a mechanic. But how cool is that? How cool is that? That's really nice to put this down. So, guys, we're going to dig out. And as I said, you know, when we do these cars, we always get extra spares. So I'm going to go and scratch in the stores now, which is really cool. And show you, pull out all our spares, which we're going to put with the car, so we know what we've got. We've got spare doors and all sorts of things. Hey, but that's another, watch just now and you'll see. Watch me close this door, though. Camera, move back over there. And watch how slick this is. How beautiful is that for an opening when you want to go shopping? I think that's really cool. Nice and gentle. Just like that. Closed. How nice is that? Awesome, guys. So, this is my 59 baby. Little roof thing easy to tie when you have luggage on. So, it's got everything. Little rain channels. Really, really cool. So, I've got spare lenses and all sorts of things. But we're going to go and dig those out now, guys, and show you. So, guys, hang around. I'm going to show you some more exciting stuff. Don't forget, you've got to do a couple of things. Subscribe, share, all those kind of things. Do it. Lots more. We've got hundreds of videos to come up, all sorts of cars. Stay tuned. Got some more stuff coming for you now. Hey okay, guys, so we're going to go now and find the parts for this car, which is buried in all sorts of little corners. But come with us and you're going to see my best mate, Brian. And maybe I'll give you a wave with the camera. He's camera shy. I think it's his stunning good looks. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, so in the back anyway, as you can see, there's Brian. Brian, give it a hello. <laughs> Shyness in the mirror. So guys, underneath day, guys. those tarpaulins is uh, all the doors and fenders and things like that over here. As you see, packed in here, we're going to pack all of this and take it outside. Uh, so let's just get this off. Can okay, you manage it, V? Yeah. Okay, I've got this banner. Yeah. Okay, so guys, hard stuff to get. Fenders, bonnets, doors. Oh, you got this here as well. Okay, so it acts as a secondary storage for other stuff as well. There's a roll of this over here too, B. Oh, it's caught my pants. Okay. Okay, there's a hot day today. I can really jive it hot. Uh, okay, uh, there's some paint uh, things there. We can go over there. So we probably started with this one. We get this one for the first one out. Okay, they wedge together, we might have to take two of them together. Okay. Ah, getting too old for this, guys. As you know, this is a young man's game, but 
We'll try. Karen Dean, your turn. Go, bud. Go and get some parts. It's been the mouth. So this is two fenders. <coughs> this is two right fenders. I'm getting my gym workout in today. So I'll put them down over here. So let's just see. Right fingers. No, I can't, can't separate them right now. There. Ah, door. What's the hard to come by? Pairs, follow us. Come on, guys. Okay guys, so we're going to go now into sacred ground. This is where my friend and I, Brian, store all our classic car parts to keep our old scraps running and really from the elements looking after them. But come on in here and have a look at all the precious stuff we've got going on. Follow me. As you can see, this is just parts for days. Everywhere you can look, look up there. This is just parts, hubcap, grills. There's a 55 grill line over there. There's a Vauxhall Viscount grill line over there. Seats for the classics. Jack said, let's come on up here. We we'll have a look. Packed. Packed full. Just packed everywhere you can see. Spares, parts, just to keep our cars running. Down there, windscreens. Over there, tail lights, as you can see. Steering parts, all sorts of things here. All the shelves packed full. But what we're really after is over here. Like I said, spare set of Zephyr tail lights. Now have a look over here amongst my other chrome. So I've got some uh, other chrome and right in the back buried here is the other one. But let me just get some of the stuff out of here. This is a windscreen wiper motor. Some overriders for the Zephyrs. Okay, but let's just get this out of here. In the back there. Oh, okay. This is for a 55 one, Mark 1 Zodiac, which I had. Okay, let me put it there. hope that doesn't slide away. Okay, so here we go. Here it is. Ah, let's get in there. Come on, work with me. I'll get in there eventually, guys. Here it is. Another spare tail light. Oh, let's put that over there. I hope it doesn't slide away. Some other Zephyr parts, uh, which we've got as well. Those back there. All Zephyr parts, as you can see here, guys. All this chrome stuff up here is new old stock. So we flew up to Kenya many years ago and bought a container full of brand spanking new Vauxhall and Zephyr chrome that had been abandoned in an old spares warehouse. And we brought it all back here and we've got all brand new chrome for our cars all stacked up here. All up there, you can see on top there, we've got brand new grills. All the way down, we've got brand new tail lights. If you come down in this narrow passageway over here, for the voxels, for instance, because we've got voxels and zephyrs, which you'll see in the other videos. Tail lights for voxels. Uh, all kinds of things we've got. Um, points, plugs, fuel pumps, all those kind of things. Headlight clusters. Uh, all the kind of things you need to keep your classic cars going. We've got them. And that's the only way we keep our cars going. And it's really exciting, guys. This is such an exciting trip for us. Put in our little parts of the car. Hope you've been enjoying it, guys. And I really look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell everybody you like about it, and come join us again for the next adventure. And it could be a Lamborghini. We don't know. Join us soon, guys. Bye for now.